Hello, parents, and welcome to the Career Center's orientation presentation, Parents as Career Coaches. We are so happy to welcome you and your student to the CFC family. Thank you for joining us today to learn about the services and programs we offer and how you can best help your student throughout their career journey. Today's hosts are Emma Waugh, Jen Wells, and Camille Hamrick from the College of Charleston's Career Center. We will each introduce ourselves. My name is Emma Waugh, and I am the Associate Director for Career Education. I have worked at the Career Center for three years and have been working in career services since 2012. Hi, I'm Jen Wells, the Assistant Director for Career Education. I've been at the College of Charleston since this past January 2020 but have been working in higher education and predominantly in career services for about 25 years. Hi, my name is Camille Hamrick and I'm a career counselor. I've been working in various higher education settings since graduating college and I've been in career services for almost two years. I joined CFC's Career Center staff this past September. We're excited to share this presentation with you today. When students enter college, they may have an idea of what they want to major in, or they might not know where to begin with choosing a major. Either way, the first year of college can be overwhelming. Add in the pressure of choosing a major and a career path, and it can be downright stressful. With this reality in mind, we want to give you the tools and context to support and assist your son or daughter as they navigate this process. Although it may seem like they don't always want to listen to you, I promise they do hear you and value your opinion. If you were to visualize the career development process, it might look something like this. When we consider the relationship between self-exploration and career exploration, we can see it's an ongoing process, usually lasting throughout most of a person's career. As a student starts to better understand their own interests, values, personality, and skills, they can start to explore careers that are a good fit for these qualities. As they gain knowledge through research and networking and experience through working in the field, they in turn learn more about and reevaluate their interests and values and the process starts again. Think about your own career journey for a moment. Are you doing the same thing you expected to do when you were just starting college? Most people, especially in current times, change jobs and careers many times throughout their lives. Many students change their major at least once. Knowing that this isn't a one-time decision can help take some of that pressure and stress away. As the Career Center seeks to guide your student through the career development process, we have created a four-year framework that breaks up the steps students may take toward being prepared for their career at the time of graduation. Each student's individual journey may slightly vary, but in general, students typically enter the self-exploration phase during their first year in college. This is typically when they explore majors and involvement that they wish to pursue on or off campus. Then students are encouraged to think about the career paths they may want to pursue and to begin honing their interview skills and application materials for possible experiential learning opportunities. As they enter into jobs, internships, volunteer or research opportunities, they are encouraged to build their network and to allow their experiences to influence the companies or graduate schools they research and consider for their future. They will learn more about themselves, their interests, and their skills through these experiences, which will likely lead them to apply for graduate schools or careers that are a good fit for them. A more detailed breakdown of this plan may be found on the Career Center website. The Career Center is available to help your student in all of these stages. As they are in the initial self-exploration stage, they may need some assistance in identifying their interests and then connecting those to a major or career. We offer various career assessments, such as Focus 2, Strong Interest Inventory, and Myers-Briggs Type Inventory, to help them learn more about themselves and explore paths that may be a good fit. Students may schedule an individual appointment with a career counselor to discuss choosing a major in a variety of additional topics, such as resume and cover letter reviews, searching for internships or jobs, practicing interview skills, and preparing for graduate school. 
We also offer drop-in hours throughout the week that allow students to stop by at their convenience to ask quick questions. As we've mentioned, we heavily encourage students to enter the career exploration phase throughout their time at the college by participating in jobs, internships, volunteer, and leadership experiences. Our job search platform, Handshake, lists numerous opportunities for students to gain valuable experience. Handshake provides full and part-time job listings on campus opportunities and internship listings both locally and globally, which we will discuss in further detail later in the presentation. In addition to Handshake, we offer many opportunities for students to network with employers in person. We are all familiar with the phrase, it's all about who you know. A significant portion of a successful job search involves networking, so we offer several ways for students to build a network with employers. Each semester, we host dozens of employers at our career fair. Students of all majors have the opportunity to engage with companies and organizations to learn more about their fields, make connections, and possibly discuss job or internship openings. Students may also network with employers at Employer in Residence events, or EIRs. During these events, students may meet with representatives one-on-one -on -one to discuss resumes, cover letters, or job searching. At times, employers may visit the college to offer interviews on campus for students. Throughout the semester, employers often provide informational sessions about their company so students can learn more about how to get their foot in the door with the company and stand out as a candidate. It's never too soon to start building connections, so encourage your student to take advantage of these opportunities and to visit the Career Center to learn how to best prepare. Regardless of the type of job your student may seek, part-time, summer, internship, or full-time upon graduation, employers are looking for those with experience. Help stress to your student that this experience can be gained in a number of ways. Part-time jobs, jobs on campus at the College of Charleston, leadership roles in campus organizations, through job shadowing, internships and co-ops, volunteering, research with faculty, study and travel abroad opportunities, practicum, where some majors require a semester or two of practical experience in the field to apply what is being learned in the classroom, and student teaching. The Career Center can assist your student with their job search and how to find ways to gain experience. The jobs held to gain experience can be in a field directly related to the type of work the student wishes to pursue upon graduation, or indirectly related, where the student will learn transferable skills skills that apply to multiple fields such as communication, technology, critical thinking, and more. Handshake is an online job board that the Career Center at the college uses to help connect students to employers for part-time, full-time, internships, on-campus jobs, and more. Every CFC student has an account. New students are given access within the first week of classes. There are over 8,500 companies in the system, and there are 50 to 100 new postings daily. The Career Center individually approves these positions. Handshake is also used for students to register for career-related events, including networking opportunities with employers and workshops. Students may also learn about which companies will attend career fairs hosted by the Career Center and sign up for interviews held by employers on the CFC campus. In addition to helping your student connect to the college, getting involved in campus activities and organizations are an essential part of building their resume because doing so helps shape who they will become. They may gain skills in communication and leadership, as well as learn how to work as part of a team. Their involvement will also help introduce them to fields of interest, as well as help them eliminate areas which may not be as interesting as they perhaps originally thought. And most importantly, your student's campus involvement will help them begin to build a professional network. They will meet other students who may share similar interests as well as work with faculty and staff across the campus. Our goal is to prepare students to select and pursue a career that is a good fit for them. Although their major will be a factor in this process, it does not determine what career field they will enter. Because College of Charleston has a liberal arts focus, many of our majors can lead to a multitude of different careers. Therefore, it can be helpful to think about choosing a major and choosing a career as two separate processes with some overlap between them. 
what does it really mean to have an academic major? Essentially, we're looking at choosing a subject that we enjoy and are good at to study in depth. At the same time, career exploration can occur through involvement outside the classroom. This includes internships, part-time jobs, student organizations, and volunteering. It gets tricky when trying to equate major to career. Take our communication major, for example. The job title of professional communicator isn't exactly a thing. Instead, students who major in communication can pursue countless different occupations based on the skills they will develop in their classes. We find it can be helpful for students to talk to people on campus to find out more about our majors and which one is right for them. Our staff can be a great resource, as well as academic advisors, faculty in different departments on campus, and even C of C alumni. The Career Center partners with Academic Advising and Planning Center to offer multiple events that can help. Every fall, we bring all of our academic departments together for a majors and minors fair. At this event, students can talk to faculty and students from each major and minor in a low stress environment. We also offer several choosing a major workshops during both semesters. In this one hour workshop, students learn some of the facts and myths about choosing a major, take a short career interest assessment, and start to explore majors that align with their interests. Once per semester, we also invite students to apply for our four week explore workshop series where we dive even deeper into self-exploration, majors, and careers in a small group setting. There are also many online tools that students and parents can use to learn more. The Career Center has a subscription to a resource called What Can I Do With This Major? The name gives a pretty good clue about what this website covers. For each possible college major, there is a breakdown of commonly associated career areas, roles and types of employers, as well as strategies for linking that major to each career area. LinkedIn is another fantastic place to research careers. Many people don't realize that each college has a LinkedIn page through which you can see data about that college's alumni, where they live, what they do and where, and what they majored in. Using the search tool, a student could see exactly where alumni from their potential major have gone on to work. It's always amazing to see the variety of career fields that can stem from a single major. It just goes to show that our graduates get hired based on their experience, skills, and interest in a career field, not just based on their major alone. Employers seek applicants who demonstrate transferable skills gained through actively engaging in classes and experiential learning opportunities, regardless of major. Employers and industries across the board have been surveyed by the National Association of Colleges and Employers to learn what skills they seek most in candidates, and each year it nearly always results in this set of transferable skills. They want to see that a candidate can demonstrate strong written and verbal communication skills. This is essential to every job, so it's important for students to practice and enhance these skills in their classes and other opportunities. Employers also want to see that candidates can exercise analytical skills to effectively gather and process information. This means candidates also need to be able to use that information to make wise decisions or take the appropriate next steps. Candidates need to be able to communicate how they find ways to take initiative and provide examples of times when they worked well with a team. This often incorporates the ability to be flexible and adapt as needed. Flexibility and adaptability is needed now more than ever. Any company or organization is subject to change and it is vitally important that employees are willing and able to adapt to those changes. For example, as we've seen recently, COVID-19 has impacted so many organizations in various ways, and it has caused employees to have to exercise this skill by adapting to change and finding new ways to produce their work. Employers also seek candidates that display leadership, a strong work ethic, and interpersonal skills. Rather than simply completing the work that is expected, employees stand out when they help lead their team and effectively conduct business alongside their coworkers. Additionally, the ability to solve problems and work with technology is essential in today's workplace. 
students can intentionally work to build these skills that employers seek in nearly all industries. Doing so will allow them to stand out as a candidate in their field of study or may help them transition into a completely different field of interest. Here is a list of careers that real College of Charleston alumni have entered. And as you can see, their major doesn't exactly match up like you might think. For instance, when you hear software designer, you might think that this person might have studied computer science. However, here we see that the students who majored in accounting, anthropology, biology, and communication went into this career path. Further down the list, we see that it wasn't the art history or studio art major that became an actor. It was the political science major. This further demonstrates that a major doesn't necessarily lead to a certain career path. Students get to choose their career destination based on their interests, experience, and skill set. As a parent, you may wonder where College of Charleston students work or seek advanced degrees after their CFC career. Based on the class of 2018, CFC graduates have gone on to work at places like MUSC, Enterprise Rent-A-Car, Marriott, Boomtown, Kiowa Island Golf Resort, the Berkeley County School District, Cornerstone Wealth Advisory Group, Cvent, Graystar, the Naval Information Warfare Systems Command, and even to return to their new alma mater. Graduates have pursued advanced degrees at the College of Charleston, as well as MUSC, Elon University, the Citadel, Clemson University, Emory University, Georgia Tech, the University of Florida, the University of South Carolina, NYU, and the University of Georgia. Additionally, 69% of the class of 2018 completed internships and 21% conducted research in order to gain experience in their fields of study. As a parent, you are your student's biggest cheerleader and advocate. We have found that in addition to the work the Career Center does to promote career-related workshops and events to students, parent encouragement for them to get started early, as early as freshman year, with our office aids in student success. Encourage your student to visit the Career Center, get involved in campus activities and organizations, and take time now to gain experience toward their future career goals. Help your student understand the difference between a major and a career, and listen to and support them in their decisions. We would like to thank you again for joining us for this presentation today. We know you want to see your students succeed during their time at CFC and beyond, and so do we. Our office is open year round for student appointments on all career topics. We would love to hear from your students. Enjoy the rest of your summer and we'll see you in August.